It's day 10 at the Alexandra Palace, another top day of tungsten action and Mark Walsh, what a belt against Alan Tabern. He missed six darts to win it, but Walsh he got through 4-3. Also through Vincent van der Voort, terrific performance from the big Dutchman, edging out Wayne Jones, 4-2. And in our final afternoon game, Terry Jenkins, the Raging Bull, is on a major charge. He's won the first six legs straight against Steve Brown, and it's two sets to nil. Any way back for Steve Brown, Eric? Any hope for Steve Brown? No, I don't think so, but I mean, I'd, I'd be pleasantly, you know, nice to be wrong. I mean, but uh, I saw Jenkins walk off the stage, he's nodding his head, 16. which is a good sign, because he didn't play well that second set. He went from 105 average to 92, so, you know, it wasn't a great set. And Brown's average is only 82, 16. and he's a better player than that. Yeah. I just don't want to see him lose like 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, you know, and not win a leg. Doesn't happen often in the uh, second Four round of the World Championship. We've seen a few in the first round where it's first to three sets, nine straight legs, but 12 straight legs in professional darts is hard to run. To win six well, against the throw consecutively is very it's pretty tough, yeah. Well, I, I saw Priestley was one year defending his world top. Defending his world title lost nine, John nine Lowe, it? Yeah, it's on low, so it can happen to anybody. 100. Yeah, Terry Jenkins won seven legs against the throw against Joe Cullen, and he's won three against the throw here against Steve Brown, who 45. really is playing so far below his best. He must be bemused. Yeah, that's why Jenkins has just got to concentrate now to get a bet in the 45s and 60s and concentrate on what he's doing. It's time one for him, put him to bed. Don't want to go to sleep again. He got another, you know, he's got two days off if he gets through, or at least a day off, isn't he, if he gets through tonight? Yeah. It's afternoon, so that's nice. Fed up. This game out of the way. Have a nice meal tonight. Maybe watch the darts on the TV or whatever. Prepare yourself for the next game. But this is not over yet. Never over till the final double is hit. We've learnt that over the years many, many times. That's OK, isn't it? Two good visits, 140-140. If he can take out the double eight, if he gets a chance at the double eight, he'll feel a lot better. Might if, not get a chance. If he gets a shot, well, this would hurt. Oh, that's... Oh, that's... That's hurt. No, that is hurt. He didn't do a lot wrong there. Tracking shot. Well, he's come straight back, he's come straight back and he's thrown those three in in sheer frustration. It's his wife, Joe. Sheer frustration, he's just belted those three like he was belting Terry Jenkins on the chin. But it was the blow before, wasn't it, Eric? I mean, the 117, that must have been a killer because he was sat there on double eight having thrown brilliantly and never even got a shot. That's right, you're two sets to nil down, it's Jenkins' throw, you've left yourself a double, you're thinking in, in the back of your mind, if I, if I break him here, I'm one nil up in the third set and win all my legs, it's, all of a sudden it's two sets all, and then he just sticks, sticks out on you, it's in the, it does hurt, it's all right for these people saying he's just got to forget about it and play the next leg, there's not many players that can do that, them sort of things hurt. It's like when you stand behind the, the player and he's got three darts at a double, you, before, before he goes up there, you're thinking, well, I've lost this leg. And then when he misses with the first one, you think, and then when he misses with the second one, you're thinking, I've got a chance here. And then, then bang, now you hit it with the last one. And you go, it's like, oh, someone's just hit you in the stomach, you know what I mean? There's you been, thought, I'd rather you get it first off and put yeah. me out of my misery. There's been times when people have accused you and Phil Taylor of hitting it third down deliberately, Bruce, just to wind people up. Did that ever happen? <laughs> no. Did you ever do that? No, we no. We, nor does Phil. I mean, but it's great that they think that of us, you know what I mean? We were trying to get it first off. <laughs> Now, he's got another chance here. We, he's running out of chances now to put a leg on the ball, doesn't he? Don't miss the 16, that's fine. Uh, straight in the middle of the double top, young one. Oh. Now, you know what's going to happen now, don't yeah. you? You've seen the video. <laughs> he's going to go out on 80. Well, he's only going to get one dart at tops. Not that that stopped him before. Tops for Terry. Told you, I saw this yesterday. Well, well, well. That's hurt again. Now he's, now he's starting to think. I might, I might not win a leg now. Now he's got extra pressure on him now. Instead, he thinks he's out of the tournament already. He knows that. And now he's thinking, I've got to win a leg. Different negative thoughts going through his head yeah. now. Yeah. I've said it many times, but I'll say it again. The hardest legs to win, without question, are the first Fourteen. one you get of the day and the one to win the match. If you're on naught, every double seems the width of a needle. 
like an old ball oh, called it to be called it. a champion's choice ball. I don't remember that, but it was brought out and it was half third the side of, of, of normal doubles. And we used to practice on that. And that's how it looks up there when you're struggling. Whereas Jenkins, they're looking the size of a bucket and he just can't miss. He's at eight out of fifteen on the doubles. Brown has only had three, only had three chances of double, all of which he's missed. And we're in the ninth leg. This would be his third maximum. 140. He's bringing his average up. He's up nearly up like 87. Wait, so, so he's so he's going another treble 20, treble 19 here. Oh. 83. So Brown's got a really big, big one here. I hope Jenkins misses 110. And the way Jenkins is playing, you wouldn't put it past him to take it out. No, so you would not put a great deal of money that Jenkins will miss this the way he's been finishing got it in a treble well he has missed it so back for 86 and should be at least a shot at the ball from 86 Eric it would be funny if he finished his first game on the ball wouldn't it he's got to go 18 ball he's gone double 8 I don't know if he's double 18 he's gone the ball with it 61 he kept it high in case he hit a double 18 he would have left double 16 here we go Top, tops for three sets to nil come on give the lad a shot that's better. Well, he has given him a chance, and he has simply got to take this. Two darts at double eight. Relief, relief for Steve Brown at long, long last. He's off the zero. He's off the duck egg. He's off zip. He's on the board. But. A look at the scoreboard will show you he's still two sets to nil down and two legs to one down in this set. It's a long, long road back from here. But at least he's still on the road. That's right, yeah. So, you know, Terry should have put him to bed there, really, with him two at double. He'd have been off the stage now, 3 0. All of a sudden, this lad has a good leg here with a throw. Breaks it two legs all. And one bad shot in the, in the fifth leg by Jenkins, and the lad is at 180, and all of a sudden it's two sets to one. 60. How quick this game can turn around. Yeah, in terms of legs, Steve Brown is being taken apart here by Terry Jenkins. He's 8 1 down. Now, even if he wins the next two in this set, he'd be 8 3 down in legs out of the game. But in set play, he can only be two sets to one down if he wins the next two. It really is a massive difference. 59. Yeah, we all know the rules. I mean, the only legs tournament we, uh, the boys play is Blackpool, doesn't it? So. You know the rules before you go in there. Sometimes it goes for you, sometimes it goes against you. You know, you can win all your sets 3 2 and then lose 3 0, 3 0, 3 0, and the guy's, you know, one more legs than you, but you don't care. As long as you win, as long as you win the right set. It's about winning the right legs, Eric, isn't it? And you're, normally they're the, the fifth leg of every set, they're the ones that decide matches. Good dart. Another one there be very handy. Yeah, lovely darts from Steve Brown. Keeps him in firm control. Possible 14 dart leg here. Best leg of the match from Steve Brown. And he dropped his flight on the floor and all he's learning. <laughs> all helps. He's got six darts there. Well, it's in for double 18. Useful guide. Oh, that's me. Well, he's going to be back for another three. His flight's on the floor again. You're telling me that players do this sort of things like that oh, deliberately. Uh, I people can't people it. just do that. Flick your flight out of the ball, yeah. Double 18. There's two legs on the trot. Oh, let me try another. Now, see that's he's, he's back in the match there, really. He's had to go that way. He's missed the 25. 79 left. Uh, can still finish, as you see from the screen. He can hit trouble 13. 13. Can't see it. Well, he's got. But the hardest part now is hitting the single one. That's all you're thinking. Don't miss the one. Hasn't double four gets it. He missed five darts and a double in that leg. Steve Brown. He still won it. He still won it. Now then, on this leg, probably hangs the entire match. And Jenkins is starting like a house on fire. That's a great start. Fifth leg of the set. That's a lovely start. One four. It's not a game of chess now. You hit something, see what he does. Great reply. That's a great reply. Pretty hard to hit that five first start. He's in a lot of trouble there, so. And that's what you like to see when you're up there. First one straight in the middle. 
99. Well, this leg will decide this set, and I think it will decide the match as well. If Jenkins wins it, surely game over. If Brown wins it, back to game on, Eric, isn't it? Well, if Brown wins it, he's back in the game, and he know he will. He, 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 he'd be over the moon. If Jenkins goes three sets to nil up, I can't see him coming back from that. He won't give in, because he's... He's one of the new breed coming through, and they don't give up. That's a bad shot. Now you're thinking, right, come on, hit a red bit first. Like, look at the room he's got there. Come oh. on, he's thinking, fill it up. Leave 96. Oh, leave 96, all right. With his third maximum of the match. Jenkins through just 38. And Steve Brown waded in with a ton 80. And this leg is now within his grasp. Well, he's treble 20 to leave double eight. He's got double 18, double top. He loves that, doesn't he? At least he didn't throw it out the ball this time. Now he's just got to hope he doesn't go out 1 6 4. Oh, it's on now. It's on now. Oh, this would be a killer for the ball. Well, Steve Brown must have been shaking like a leaf. Now he's got tops. He was holding his breath there as he was going for the ball. Oh, look at these two touching the wire. Oh, he's got it. The last time. The last dart in his hand after Jenkins had missed the ball by a whisker. And Brown is doing a boogie on the big stage because he's back in business. Jenkins 2, Brown 1. It's not over yet at the Alexandra Palace.